Good afternoon, y'all. It's June 12th. Just finished up a morning hunt for some squirrels here on one of my properties in Northern Virginia. I uh, was able to get out here and tag out actually with six, so a uh, pretty exciting morning. I uh, got to see some turkey and even a doe and a fawn, which is always something you like seeing on one of your properties. So, um, Also utilized the morning to put out a couple more trail cameras on some travel corridors, just with the hopes of getting some bucks on camera and getting an idea of what, we look at, what we're looking at for the uh, upcoming fall. So pretty excited to see what those have in store for us. But uh, this week we're gonna throw it back yet again to um, another hunt I had on the other property in the other side of Northern Virginia where I was able to shoot one of the biggest bucks of my life. So I'm gonna take y'all over to that and uh, I'm actually gonna start a clean on these buggers. So y'all enjoy. Good afternoon. It's uh, about 1.15 on November the 19th and uh, we just slipped out here back to the four acres uh, coming off a really good hunt. Uh, November 10th we had a deer that I thought I'd never seen before uh, chasing a hot doe all around here. He literally ran circles around me and it was just a, an incredible hunt and kind of been in here after that deer, uh, past couple of hunts, haven't really seen anything to be too excited about, but I know it can change in a, in a blink of an eye out here. So, I slipped in uh, through the creek bottom, pretty uh, bulletproof access, and we got a good wind coming out of the northwest. Just a little warm right now. It's about 50 degrees, and it's gonna it's gonna plateau at about 50 for the rest of the evening. So, really banking on. Uh, Having a deer come through here, just maybe have a hot doe. Getting towards that lockdown phase out here, so you can't see him if you're not out in the stands. So I'm excited. Uh, haven't had a chance to check the cameras in a few days here, so I'll take a look at those and see uh, what's been coming through because I did see a lot of sign walking here, a lot of fresh tracks that I hadn't seen uh, last time I was in here. And there are two other deer that I've been looking out for. Uh, the first one's Lucky. He's a He's a nice nine-pointer, uh, and the second is uh, Mr. Krabs, who's a really nice uh, mainframe eight-pointer. He's a beautiful looking deer, but that big seven's by far jumped to the top of the hit list, so just sit tight, see what starts moving. we got plenty of time, so uh, stay tuned and we'll see what comes through.
Bleh. All right, well, it took a moment to get everything together, get my mind around this, and uh, watch the video over once on the camera. So I still want to watch it on a bigger screen, but uh, I definitely hit him in the neck. I definitely hit him far forward. And I'm almost sure I punched that trigger, torqued the bell, and just set the arrow a little too far to the right. Uh, he did run away like he was hurting. I think I grabbed that back shoulder. Um, I can't see the arrow, but I'm hoping I have at least something to go off of over there. Uh, I'm going to climb out of the stand now. Uh, I've got a buddy coming here with his laptop. Uh, we're going to watch it on a bigger screen and then uh, give it a few more minutes, maybe uh, till 4 o'clock. It's about 3.30 right now. And uh, we'll wait until about 4 just to go look at blood and see where the arrow is. Um, it, he, I'm almost 90% sure he ran across the gravel road here to the other property. So first things first, I'm going to walk that, or at least take a look down the road and make sure you know, he's not laying in the middle of the road or anything. I'm really hoping uh, it was uh, a fatal shot. You know, you spend all this time trying to make an ethical kill, and it really kills you when you make a shot like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pack up, get out of stand, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys really quick. All right, uh, we're here in the creek bottom. Uh, I accessed my stand right up the hill here, and it's been about two hours now. Since I've shot this buck and took the time to look at the footage on a bigger screen and uh, I'm not going to by any means track him at this point. I just want to get over there where I shot him and make sure that uh, I can get an idea of where the blood is headed and what it looks like. Uh, I can tell a lot just by first blood if there is any. See if I can grab my arrow. Um, I just want to get it done before it gets too dark out here because pain in the butt uh, trying to track a deer in the dark. All right, well, I'm here at uh, the initial uh, shot point. He was standing right here. You can tell because the water's all turned up still. It's still murky. Um, and first blood, uh, initial thought, it's dark, and there's a lot of it. And this is, like I said, right where the arrow hit him. And as a matter of fact, my arrow is right here. <laughs> Uh, looks like the back of it's broken off inside him, wherever he is. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be any gut smell to it. That much is for sure, because it's obviously a neck shot. But I can see exactly where he ran out of here. Uh, the grass is all turned up because of the way he was running out. He was really eating the ground. Uh, so what I might do is just follow it a little bit further through this thicker stuff, and uh, just to make sure he hasn't died on the neighbor's property because uh, if that's the case I'm going to want to get him off as quickly as possible. Um, I've talked with them before so uh, it's pretty important to me just to get it taken care of you know so uh, just going to pick the blood trail up uh, and I'll get back with you guys. Followed blood about 10 yards and I look across the street and he's dead right there. Uh, he is on the neighboring property though, so I'm gonna have to go back around to the truck and take the sled over and drag him out of there real quick and uh yeah, they're pulling out. Um and just get back with you guys back at the car. So uh, he's definitely dead though, he's not moving. He's right there next to the mailboxes, so uh yeah, I'm gonna grab this camera, grab my stuff, and head back to the car, and uh, next time you see me, I'll have a big buck in my hands, guys. <laughs>
All right, well, here he sits. Uh, the big seven is, is down and uh, didn't make the best shot on him, as I've said. And uh, honestly, just super lucky to have recovered him as easily as I did. Uh, sometimes it's better to be lucky than skilled, and I don't claim to be the best hunter in the world at all, and by no means. So he he gave me a show in the stand today. Uh, damn near had a heart attack trying to figure out how to film this deer and get the shot on. Uh, had an awesome footage of the shot. Um, really happy with how that turned out. Just the actual shot itself is a little subpar to my standards and to anyone's standards really. Uh, but it, proved fatal he was down uh, within 50 yards so I hit something I haven't gutted him or anything so I don't really know what it hit exactly but the point is he went down uh, and now he's here so I didn't really get a good recovery footage of him given that he was on the other property but we got him here in the food plot for good light and uh, this will close my 2018-2019 uh, hunting season uh, First time in my life I've tagged out of bucks right now. Uh, the multiple counties around me are earn a buck, but you know I got two other family members who hunt, so definitely got to give them a chance. And uh, they'll probably be getting out soon enough. Uh, but this is just a true blessing, and I'm so happy to be able to put my hands around this deer. I've mentioned that I had a uh, a pretty awesome hunt with him showing up last Saturday, and. Uh, that was the 10th and the date now is November 19th so I was in here a lot looking for him never laid eyes on him until about one o'clock this morning when uh or one o'clock this afternoon when I saw my first glimpse of him on a hot doe and from there it's just kind of like a patience game and he ended up giving me a 30 yard shot and uh I put one right where it needed to go I guess so uh really appreciate you guys watching and uh I'll see you in the stand next time. I hit him forward, I hit him forward, I hit him forward. Oh my God, that deer's gonna give me a damn heart attack.